Disney's Encanto is a brand new musical adventure about a gifted family living in a magical corner of Colombia. Featuring songs written by my friend Lynn Manuel. Hey, that's me. So let's dig a little deeper into what makes the music of Encanto sing. Encanto takes place in rural Colombia. Music that comes out of Colombia is so beautiful. It was really exciting and a really interesting new challenge, getting immersed in Colombian culture and music. Let's go! This is our home. We've got every generation so full of music, a rhythm of its own design. Lynn. Yeah. Tell me about the first song that you wrote for the movie was. The first song I wrote was the opening song of the movie called The Family Madrigal. Welcome to the family Madrigal. One of my favorite moments is when she gets kissed by her mom. She has this like, mom. If you're impressed, imagine how I feel, mom. That is like the most amazing mix of proud and mortified <laughs> in the middle of her solo. Mom. I know it sounds a bit fantastical but magical, but I'm part of the family. There's this one section in the middle that I wrote it as if I were writing a horn line. That I got That would sound great on trumpet, but I have Steph going. I knew she could do it because I know how great her voice is. Hey, I'm still a part of the family, Madrigal, and I'm fine. I am totally fine. Waiting on a Miracle is Mirabelle's yearning to belong. The rhythm of that is in three. It's three stringed instruments playing in sort of a waltz time. It's just a different beat. She's literally out of beat with the rest of her family. There's something that clicks inside her where she realizes the wheels are in motion for her to chase down her destiny. I like these heroine songs so much. You go on this major journey with a character and suddenly you know her better from the inside. Doing a very specific thing, which is the, we're not supposed to talk about that. It's all we talk about. <laughs> Nailed it. The one that got stuck in my head the most, I would sing it to myself all the time. Everyone sings over the same chord progression with a totally different rhythm and a totally different cadence. So it was a really fun way of just getting to know everyone in the family. <laughs> Dos Oruguitas is unique because it's the only song in the score where a character is not singing to us in real time. We wanted to write a song that encompasses the love story of Abuela Alma and Abuelo Pedro and how that leads to the miracle that becomes the Encanto. Dos Oruguitas is the song that made me cry the most. It's so beautiful and I think one of the strongest things about that song is that it is sung in Spanish. And yet, when the audience watches the film, because of the images that are married to the song, no matter what language you speak, you understand what's happening. This film is about family, about how simple that is and how complicated that is. Every song is a discovery. It's all organic to the storytelling, and it's really exciting. Casita, help me out. Drawers. Floors. Doors. Let's go. Music can help tell stories in an animated realm. In Encanto, working on original songs with 12 original characters, it's really, really exciting. So, welcome to the family, Madrigal. There's this family, the Madrigal family, and they've been blessed with these magical gifts. Where all the people are fantastical and magical, I'm part of the family, Madrigal. I told them to warm up your seat. Thank you, Toñito. These characters are having emotional breakthroughs and reunions all in song. The filmmakers put a great amount of faith in me to be able to musicalize this, so I feel really grateful. Maybe I overdo it. Yep. What else can I do? With every musical project, I'm trying to find the pulse of the characters. The song I wrote for Isabella is called What Else Can I Do? And for that, I was really inspired by the 90s rock and espanol movement. And it was about finding those Colombian rhythms that are so unique. Oh. Oh. 
Colombia has a lot of rich musical traditions within itself that are unique to Colombia, but also there's an incredible amount of variety. Colombian music is special because we do it with our heart, you know, we do it with, with love. It's a beautiful story in every song. Colombia me encantó. I wanted to just write the most joyous song possible, a love letter to Colombia itself. Obviously, Carlos Vives is a worldwide music figure. I was in love with his music already. That song is so inspired by his writings, and so to have him sing on that is like a dream. Sebastián Yatra he is a star in Colombia, and he has an incredible voice. My manager called me one day, and she's like, hey, so Disney's doing a new movie about Colombia. And I was like, yes, 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 just say yes. <laughs> this was such a joy to work on this. It's one thing to write the song, but then to see the thrilling visuals, that was an incredible experience.